So I played Dragon Age Whaleguard. So let's talk about that. First and foremost, I have to say the name of the game, it just doesn't match in my books. <laughs> Just not right. How can it be Dragon Age? Because it's not really Dragon Age. It's a different entire game. If they would choose the different name, I think it would be better. But let's jump into those things that I learned in those 20 hours. So what it, what is making it different than the other Dragon Age Origins are a lot of things. They went for the action combat like God of War. When you are on the rails, you are going through the story. You are exploring a little bit to the sidewalks, right? That the, there is something you will jump over. There is something you will find, for example, statues. You will turn the statue and you will get reward. You will get reward. So all the other systems, like the RPG systems, are just trimmed down to the, like, you want just to go forward. There is no, like, figuring out. There is just, like, you are going that way. Which is the good thing and the bad thing is at the same time. For some people, it will be great. It will be good experience. You will go through this and this will just be overwhelming how many things you are meeting and it will just throw you out on the other side and you'll be like, wow, this, this was kind of nice. But for the other people, there is a lot of missing parts. For example, the, what is really like astonishing, they went for when you find a duplicate items, those items automatically combine and you will get better rarity. So yeah, you are not finding really like <laughs> different rarities of the weapons. You are finding one weapon, you, there are several, right? But you will find the weapon and you're, yeah, I like this one. This one is good. So you will find another one. They will combine and it's better. So it's just, why? Why go from the, like, from the RPG that, that Dragon Age is supposed to be, right? So that's kind of weird. But there is a world, right? We know Thedas, we were there like three times already and the world is just great. For this instance, it's great like the same. Like the world is nice. There are some places where you go into like, wow, this is kind of cool. I, I was there in one time, like when one place was like a restaurant, you were looking at the city. I was like, this is, this is kind of nice. I like that. I like that. What I don't like is how they change the grittiness, how they change the, the, the flow like of the of the world perceiving. Everything is so shiny, everything is so good. Like, I don't know, you will meet the necromancer and he is caring about like his first impressions through others. There is like the fangirl that is like, oh master, I was like, this is not Dragon Age. When when you play Dragon Age Origins and you play as a human, right? You will start the first thing after like 30 minutes or an hour of gameplay, your whole family will die and you will you are going to on the adventure you never been on and you are just have this burden on you. Right after that, you are in the joining. All others die, you will survive. It's just day and night. Nothing like that is happening here. Nothing. We are the good guys, right? You will learn that in the first sentence. You are the hero. Nothing like you have not moved inch and you ex know that you are the hero. Why? That's just wrong. That's I don't know. That's not how story like supposed to be. Weird, but it is what it is. So the world is just changed. So for people who are looking for a Dragon Age, they will not find it. For people that never played Dragon Age and they are going for this like a new experience, like a God of War from the different world, I feel that they will experience, they will have a good time. So for that reason, I said, would it be better if that would be a different name of the franchise, right? Different, like start a new IP, but that would not bring those things that, that really like, you know, you want to know what will happen with Solace. You want to know what is Blight. You you want to know those things that we have questioned about for 15 years. So that's just, you know, they are tapping into this this kind of people as well. But I don't feel that it's like for people that play a Dragon Age or, you know, it's not for them. Also, I think that there is a, like, there is a 10 years, right? It was 10 years before this game came out. I don't think they, I don't think that they work on the game for 10 years, right? That's not what happened. I think that this game went through the hell and they, they put it together like in the less than that, right? Because there is, there is some kind of like layer of polish that is missing. And it's just those details that, that, that's just 
driving me crazy. Because for example, as I said, right from the get-go, right on the beginning, you are like in the tavern, right? They, use, <laughs> they will tell you that you are a hero and you are going down the city. Something will broke out, demons will start spawning in the city. They are running around you, nobody is attacking you. You are kind of like naked, you don't have any weapon, nothing. But you are following the most badass mage that is Elven God. You are following him to, to you know, to, to cancel whatever he's working on. So you are following him, but you don't have any weapons. You will meet the first person and you will tell her. You will tell her, I was slaying enemies, on uh, demons, on the way here. I was like... No, you didn't. You you have not slayed anybody. And during the cutscene, you are like, hey, you brought me you brought me my sword, good. And you would take your arm. I just this kind of thing is just br bringing you out of the immersion from the game. At least for me. At least for me, it's like this doesn't make sense. Why why is it here? So so the 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 con like um, the conclu not conclusion but the continuity of the th the thought processes as if that if that makes sense an answer is no it doesn't make sense so that those are the parts that I really don't like about the game there are some some that I like right that the the combat flashiness like the yeah the, those abilities even though you can't see through them so you can't really dodge so it's kind of harsh on that part the, the even though there are the systems that you are combining those items right and getting the be better rarities and stuff so it's simplified but on the other hand you have the experience like you exactly know what you what you want you what you want to go for the talent tree is kind of nice right you are choosing the different notes and those notes are like significant right they, they, you are hoping that you will get this one because it will just change uh kind of what you're doing those equipment pieces that you are putting on yourself they are just really pushing you some way that you want so there are good things about it the the uh, the voice acting is kind of nice. There were a few of those that I was like kind of iffy, but majority of them is not bad. I'm enjoying the story so far, but what I don't enjoy is the lacking of the grittiness of the world and that's just putting me off a little bit because it's just not Dragon Age and I'm always pretend like presuming, yeah, this is Dragon Age. We are talking about Blight. We are talking about this. And those things will just pull me out of the thing. And that's not, not a really cool thing. And as I said, there is a layer of polish that is missing. For example, I, I had some armor, right? That That's cool looking. And I found a new one, better stats. I'm like, yeah, let's put it on me. I put it on myself and it was just blurry. It was just mushy. It was different, right? I was like, is it is this because I didn't have my my settings to the max, to ultra settings or whatever? I was like, okay, let's give there the, the previous armor. I will put it on back. I was like, there is a difference, man. It, it just the one is kind of like nice, rugged, everything is just going smoothly. And on the other one, as everything is mushy and ugly. I was like, that's so weird. And yeah, so I, I feel that there is just just the, knee, the game needed a little bit more cooking for, for this, this polish to go away because those are the moments that for me like put it in down. For example, when I was playing Wukong, there was going up and up. Like the first part of the game, like several hours, were just every single system that was added, every single mechanic, every single boss, were just upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And I was thinking high, more highly and more highly about the game. In this case, I started like really good. Like, wow, this is kind of nice. I am I'm looking forward on the Dragon Age and they will tell me I am the hero. And I'm like, what the hell? I will get one hit, right? <laughs> and on the way to the first hour, I get so many hits that I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> but you know, there is one thing that I have to say. I'm still intrigued to know what will happen, right? So I am even after 20 hours, I'm still going forward. So in the end, the game is not bad because there are many games that I will like turn on, right? I will play for an hour or two, I will turn it off and I will not never turn it back. So th at least this is going for the game. And, there and as I said before, I feel that the game will have a lot of people that will enjoy the game for what it is. And there is a lot of people that will hate it for what it is. Which is not bad, right? I know that the devs wanted to go for the younger generation that want to go for action combat, everything on the rails, because 
you know, CRPGs are not for everybody, as was the Dragon Age Origins. <laughs> I can I can tell this game was starting to be developed before the Baldur's Gate 3 became the popular because if they would see the Baldur's Gate 3 doing what they done right absolutely astonishing a lot of people played I feel that they would go for Dragon Age Origins 2 because they were like okay there is a lot of people who like this so we will make it too <laughs> So yeah, but that's how my early thoughts on the on the Dragon Age game. I will finish the game because when I will be talking about the game and I will be like critical or something, I want to have that like, you know, I want to have the play it through and not just like I'm copying the ideas from other people that uh, thinking, yeah, this is not the Dragon Age. So I will tell it, I will say it myself. So that doesn't make sense. I want to experience it and then talk about what is good, what is wrong. So, yeah, let me know down below in the comment section what you think if the, the game surprised you positively or negatively or you're missing that entirely because you you feel that there is some agendas pushing through the games and you are you are not stand for that. There is a lot of things that we could discuss about the game, but I feel as an early thoughts it's good because, yeah, 20 hours in and now let's jump back and I will finish it and then I will make another video maybe with, uh, with the final thoughts that how the game was after I finished it. So yeah, let me know down below in the comment section what you think and that will be all. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. You can click on the videos on the screen. You will get more of them or you can click here for Dragon Age Origins playthrough. I played it like a month ago or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, bye bye. Enjoy. Peace.